Hey, so how was it last week in your first race? Last week was actually pretty good. Uh, I was a little nervous and um, you know what? I just got a little too excited for the main event, but I felt like I rode really good for the heat race and uh, throughout the main event after I got up and you know, rode. But. Yeah, talk about that heat race. You rode really well. You know, a heat race is actually I rode pretty good. You know, just I didn't really like the track. I didn't think the start was uh, the start was just horrible. But other than that, the track was all right. I mean, one lined but I guess it was the first race. So what do you expect? Um, like, what was the hardest thing you had to uh, learn while you're out there? Uh, the hardest thing part just passing. Gotcha. You know, passing people um, on a one lined track. But like I said. Dude, I just got my feet wet in the lights, and dude, they don't move out of the way like amateurs. <laughs> they hold their line. So. Especially some of the guys that have been there for a while, huh? Yeah, yeah, definitely everybody you know who's been there for a while. But like I said, I had fun, I enjoyed it. Uh, definitely got a learning lesson. So we'll just see what happens at ATL. So what are your ex expectations for Atlanta? Win, dude, win. <laughs> just go out there, don't crash, get top five, and. Uh, just try to win my heat race. Like I said, just go in there good, stay healthy, just charge. So when you and your brother were doing the track walk, was he uh, giving you some line advice or what? Yeah, he was giving me a little bit of line advice, just telling me, hey, this is going to tear down, this is going to get gnarly, the wolves you're going to jump through them by the end of the night. Just give me a little bit of tips, but... Did that help out? Uh, yeah, it actually does help out. I mean, you kind of already know by the first lap you hit it, so... I mean, like I said, Houston was a little sketchy, but we'll see it, it you know, Atlanta, Indy, all those rounds, so. Good, how are you? Good. What are you up to? Come say hi to this guy. Um, I don't know, we got a lot up. Taylor, you going to do the next part? If it's bad, bad? Yeah, it's one of those deals. Does it make Saturday you feel better each time? Um, sometimes it's awkward, though. But awkward. it feels nice. Okay, so I'll come back after In a weird way, I guess you could say. Okay. So what have you been up to? Like, have you been playing any Call of Duty or what? Yeah. yeah I was spending some time on that. Um, I don't know. I've just been riding my road bike as much as I can. Oh, so you can ride your road bike now? Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't show this video to the doctor, but... I don't know. I feel I feel good about it. And, uh, Dr. G's had me on a great program and been getting me moving forward with therapy and all that. So I've just been staying as busy as I can and uh, ready to get back on my Honda and get going. Yes, you buddy. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Come say hi. You don't have it on. No. no I'm done. You're done. 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 Good. Done. Right. What? Are you gonna show me? When I had on that day. Yeah. <laughs> Frankie's toolbox. Stuck in here. <laughs> you trying to hit me with the pit pass video right now? I'm trying to hit you with it right now. Seems like the track's drying out nicely currently. Should be no problem for the start of this heat race until uh, the radar's coming in. Looks like it could be some rain, so I'm gonna leave the handguards on for now. Hey, what do you think about the magazine? Oh, stoked. I told uh, do one that Lutz's photo that's in the scan is probably like one of the sickest shots I think I've seen of myself. I'm, I'm stoked on it. And that's some pretty good style on it. You know, known for my steez. Tyler, what's up? <laughs> what is that? I'm, I'm videoing you. It's a microphone. Really? Oh, wow. So what's up for this weekend? Sit. Wait. Wait till four four o'clock track walk, and then uh, four forty-five is the first practice for us. And then we've got one guy, so a lot of waiting around until the night show. How's uh, Baker doing? Uh, he's all right. As good as he can be for crushing his fingers. Um, his clutch lever actually bent around all of his fingers. Um, so we just have Cole Seeley this weekend, and. Um, that's it. So much fingers did he break? He broke this one. Last rated this one. And, so did uh, they have to do surgery or no? No. That one right there. This one. Right. <laughs> uh, no, Baker didn't have to get surgery. They uh, set it actually at the track. The Asterix crew did a good job. So he was good. They stitched it up there too and 
got the stitches out last week and yeah, he's good to go. So uh, probably two more weeks and he'll be riding. So how's Cole's mud skills? I don't know. How's your mud skills, kid? Sick. How sick? Can I get my first podium here last year? In the mud? Second. So are you ready for the mud? I'm ready. Yeah. I guess. I don't know how ready you can be, but I guess I'm as ready as it comes. Do you really have to have like like a good riding technique or do you just try to stay up? Well, depending on the how much rain it is, if it's a lot of rain, then it's gonna be like a four-year-old riding his first PW50, just tiptoeing everywhere. Oh. Everyone. But I don't know, if it's not like last year it rained and then it stopped, so it was like Kind of annoying because it like got really sticky and like stuck onto you and your bike and got really heavy. So, I don't know. I guess there's not really techniques. Just go fast. You looking forward to that? Yeah, it'll be fun.